Hey, what's happening, YouTube? In today's episode, I'm going to go ahead and provide you top 10 apps that you got to have on your computer, okay? You definitely got to have these. That way you can get the most out of your PC, okay? So before I go ahead and go on and continue, I'm definitely going to go ahead and please, please ask you to go ahead and like and subscribe. And let's go ahead and get started. First software on my list, it's going to be Lightshot. As you can see, this particular software is available for Windows and Mac. And it allows you to go ahead and take different screenshots, okay? You can go ahead and edit the screenshot, share it, whatever you want to do, all right? As you can see, this is the icon right here, little feather. You just go ahead and drag whatever you want to go ahead and take the screenshot. As you can see right here, you can share it, you can save it. You have uh, different tools right here that you can go ahead and edit. You can go ahead and put some text, whatever you want. All right, so that's going to be my first software on my list that you have to have this right here, okay? Because from time to time, we've got to take different screenshots. And this is definitely a software that you got to have, okay? light shot second one on my list is going to be the subline text editor this particular text editor it's great it, it has a lot of tools that you can go ahead and and apply if you like programming and it's definitely one of the best ones out there as you can see right here it looks pretty simple but right here in the preferences it has a lot of uh, options if you want to go ahead and record macros it has different tools for programming as i mentioned so this one right here will definitely help you maintain all your notes safe and definitely with style. All right, so this is the second one right here, Sublime Text Editor. Next up right here on my list, this one right here, you definitely got to have it as well, all right? Uh, this one right here, it's a VLC media player, and it's just going to be really straightforward. With this particular software, you can play any movie, any video, any song, all right? As you can see right there, it says it clear, simple, fast, and powerful, and that's what it is pretty much. If if you're looking to play a video or just any kind of music song right there, that's what you gotta have. And what I like about it, it runs in all the platforms. It's available for Windows, Mac, Linux, Android, and iOS. Okay, so you definitely gotta have this one as well. BLC Media Player. Fourth software that you must have in your computer is Driver Booster. This is a free software that you can definitely go ahead and update all your drivers with. It's probably one of the best ones out there, along with probably Snappy Driver, Driver Genius, and you name it. Are but right here, it, this is a uh, all you do is install it right here. It'll go ahead and allow you to go ahead and uh, update your drivers one at a time. With the free version, you can only do one driver at a time. Okay, so. As you can see right here, if I wanted to go ahead and update that one right there, that's all you have to do is just click the update button. It allows you to go ahead and update drivers, your graphic drivers, your Wi-Fi drivers, your sound drivers, uh, Wi-Fi, uh, graphic, battery, Bluetooth, pretty much anything, okay? And it'll go ahead and allow you to, to do a backup as well, all right? So that's the uh, another software right here definitely must have driver booster list is definitely have to be this one all right this is one of the best browsers out there this is probably my favorite web browser out there okay it allows you to browse the internet completely ad free all right it's very secure and it loads really really fast and the best thing about it it doesn't use a lot of memory like uh google chrome or probably firefox so this one right here you definitely have to have this on your computer right here brave browser okay moving on right here on the list and this one right here it's called species species you definitely got to have it in your computer all right because it's it's a quiet software you're probably not ever going to use it but whenever you need it i'm telling you trust me you're definitely going to want to look for it and this one right here it allows you to have all the technical information from your computer from your as you can see right here, it gives you a, a summary of your operating system, of your CPU. In my case, I have Windows 11. I have an Intel iCore 7. Uh, it gives you the information in regards to your RAM, to your motherboard, to your graphics card, to your storage. As you can see right here, the capacity. I have a uh, solid state drive, optical drives, audio network technical information for your computer so if you need to buy some more ram or whatever this is where you need to look all right so this is another one that you must have it's called species and they're from the makers of cc cleaner which is another great software moving on now we have this particular app this one right here it's even better because this one right here is portable okay so you can go ahead and put it into different remote desktops if you have to this one right here it's called don't sleep 
and this right here it's perfect if you need your computer you know to go ahead and just do that or if you want to go ahead and just keep your session open if you're working and this one right here will just do that and on the opposite you can go ahead and schedule a sleep all right for example you can go ahead and schedule your mouse or your keyboard to go ahead and stop working after five minutes you can put uh 40 minutes an hour you name it all right but this one right here will be great if you're using like a remote desktop connection and you want to go ahead and put it in there that way you don't have to constantly log back in there all right so this one right here is great it's called don't sleep and it's a portable application moving on right here on my list unlike recuba that will definitely help you recover um permanently deleted files this one right here called eraser will do completely the opposite all right this one right here will definitely get rid of all the files permanently all right i'm gonna go ahead and show you just really 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 quick the way it works all right this is the graphic user interface and you will have to just go ahead and click that little drop down arrow new task you can go ahead and name it if you like it's optional i'm just gonna go ahead and name it one two three four and you can go ahead and schedule the task or run immediately and I'm gonna go ahead and delete that right there you know that particular file that I made which is called test and then I'm gonna go ahead and just click OK and then add file add data and then right here you click browse and then this is in my desktop right here okay you click that OK and then magic happened look at that it's gonna go ahead and click OK and that's it as you can see that it doesn't go to your recycle bin or anything it's just permanently permanently deleted from your hard drive so that's another great one to have eraser all right another one that you definitely gotta have in your computer it's gonna be team viewer because from time to time it could definitely come in handy if you if you want to remote into somebody else's computer to probably try to fix an issue or to perform tech support or whatever or if somebody has to remote into your computer to go ahead and share a file or whatever share multiple files as well so it's available for all these platforms as you can see and it's really really easy to use really stable as you can see the only thing that you would have to do is provide your partner or whoever's going to remote into your computer that id and that password and it's safe because every time you go ahead and close the software you get a new password automatically all right so that's that's what makes it safe and really stable all right so that's another one right here team viewer all right and right here last but not least right here we have gimp this is a great software that you can go ahead and use to go ahead and edit your pictures you can go ahead and uh, use it whether if you're a graphic designer an illustrator or you know or if you just want to go ahead and change the background of a picture if you just want to go ahead and edit it there you go that's going to do it right here gimp that's this is a great software it has many tools as you can see right here you have more of here that you can choose from so that's definitely another must have right here okay so this is going to be another one from who who else your boy lewis right here that's another video brought to you by your boy lewis so really appreciate it if you give me a thumbs up please like and subscribe and i'll see you here shortly all right so thanks a lot for watching peace out